Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Stories of Yonko back here with another video. And I finally got the virus off my computer, y'all boys. We back to making videos. And I appreciate y'all for being patient with me. Y'all know how it go. But look, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while. And I've noticed it throughout 2023 when Kevin Garnett was speaking in relation to LeBron James. But now there's a situation between him and Paul Pierce that's gone viral. Talking about LeBron James being top five and who you would have over him. And Kevin Garnett pretty much started roasting Paul Pierce, talking about Cupcake and all this other stuff, right? And Paul Pierce was naming who he would pick over LeBron James in terms of who's better. And all Kevin Garnett was doing was listing LeBron's accomplishments. We've never seen this and all this other stuff. You feel me? Like the year 21 bullshit. And Kevin Garnett this year has been glazing LeBron. Like I'm talking about on the tip. You feel me? Doing tricks on it. Krispy Kreme dreams type shit, right? And I didn't want to say anything before more evidence got released. And this is all the evidence I need. It's a viral moment. And we got to talk about how some of these ex-NBA players, once they retire, that seem to be peers of LeBron James, they always tend to glaze him when they're trying to transfer over into podcasting, media, ESPN, stuff like that. It seems like they always have to kiss the ring in order to be graced with prominence in that field, right? And... Kevin Garnett seems like he sold out to Clutch Sports. I'm going to say it. Let's keep it real. He sold out. He has sold out, bro. Kevin Garnett has not ever praised LeBron this much until he started to move over into the podcasting arena. Ever. And literally, he has yet to wipe his mouth. Like, it's he's still on his knees. It's crazy. But Paul Pierce, you know, he pretty much, he's anti-LeBron. And I wouldn't call Paul Pierce a LeBron hater. He's just honest at times. They call him the truth for a reason. Not just on the court, but off the court. You see how what happened with him with ESPN? He was like, man, whatever. You feel me? I don't want to keep talking about this nigga. You feel me? He still sees him as a rival. He still sees him like that. So you're going to get the honest truth of how he feels. But Kevin Garnett, he's just looking at the bag. Now, me, personally, I've been saying... For like, say, the last year and a half that LeBron James is not top five anymore. And some people gave me pushback on that because they see it as a slight because they're looking at LeBron James as the all-time great. LeBron James and his body of work. They're not looking at LeBron James in comparison to the players that are in the league right now currently playing. Like, we can't say definitively, is LeBron James the best player on his team? I would say so. But on any given night... Anthony Davis can be the best player. Anthony Davis can take them to the promised land, right? Look at the bubble run at times. Look at what happened in the, what, the midseason tournament against Indiana. And <laughs> Even though Miles Turner was complete ass. But it's like Anthony Davis had, what, 41 and 20? Complete dominance, right? On any given night, Anthony Davis can take over the team and be the best player on the team, as he should be. But Anthony Davis is so inconsistent. LeBron James, in my opinion, is still the best player. But Steph Curry is better than LeBron James. Kevin Durant is better than LeBron James. Devin Booker is better than LeBron James. You feel me? Like, I know some people will give that pushback, but literally, Devin Booker's been cooking. LeBron James is very injury prone at this point in his career. And it's like he can't bring it every night. He can't take over the game like uh, Kevin Durant or a, yeah, against trash teams he can. But against like top-notch teams, every single time we've seen the Lakers play an elite, healthy contender, they got blown out by 30, period. He's not better than Giannis. We've seen what Giannis has done when Chris Middleton was injured in and out or being ass. Drew Holiday in and out or being ass. And Damian Lillard just being ass. Carrying the entire team. We've seen what Jokic has done while he had Michael Porter Jr. and Jamal Murray out. What he's done in the playoffs. Under man. Still dominating. Even in the regular season. Dominating. Got robbed of an MVP last season. So do we want to put Joel Embiid over LeBron James? I don't know. They're kind of even. You feel me? Joel Embiid can bring it during the regular season. But he tapers off in the postseason. So I got to give that to LeBron. 
But Luka is definitely better than LeBron. He is. He is. Look what just happened last night. The Lakers played the Dallas Mavericks with no Kyrie Irving. Luka, his impact on the game. We're talking about impact. We're not just talking about just, oh, who's doing it in this year? Who's doing it in this many minutes? Who has this many championships? Who's been to this finals? Like Kevin Garnett was saying, LeBron James ain't been back to the finals in a few years. And the only time he got back to the finals was on some bubble shit. So you feel me? Uh, uh, uh. You feel me? And, and he knows that he don't count that shit. But whatever. Uh, the impact that Luka had. Sure, Dante Exum went off. Tim Hardaway Jr. But it's the impact that he has on them. Along with his offensive firepower. They got them to beat the Lakers. And Anthony Davis and LeBron both had over 30 points. You feel me? Both had over 30 points. It's crazy. No Kyrie Irving. Those are the players that's better than LeBron James. And me, my ass, I ain't gonna lie. Kyrie, uh, I, shit, I might take that nigga over LeBron. Shit, don't end me again tonight. That's just me. You feel me? I'm talking about players who are actually proving that they're stepping up to the plate. De'Aaron Fox, I would take him over LeBron. Just being honest. Tyrese Halliburton, I'll take him over LeBron. SGA, I'll take him over LeBron. It's just based on the impact that they're having on their team. Without Anthony Davis, the Lakers would literally be one of the worst teams in the league. Anthony, we're talking about just singular players that are just providing impact, the stars of the team. Without Anthony Davis, LeBron is pretty much a package deal duo with Anthony Davis at this point in his career. If Anthony Davis ain't there, the Lakers are doing terrible. LeBron James is not carrying them by himself. Neither should he. The man is almost 40 years old. And I'm not using that as an excuse to praise him. I'm not using that as an excuse to, you know, diminish him. But how Kevin Garnett is talking about LeBron James as if you cannot have anybody else over him. Oh, this person didn't make this in the playoffs. Whatever like that. LeBron wouldn't even make the playoffs if they didn't give the Lakers a historic amount of free throws. At all. And the thing that Kevin Garnett had did a while back... He was talking about, we got to give these guys praise, the new, the new generation, right? But here's the contradiction with that. Every single time there's an opportunity to give the new guys praise, you guys, the old guard takes over. Y'all want to reel back in this old ass nigga, LeBron James, and put him over all these players that are outplaying him. Jokic is outplaying him. Giannis outplaying him. Luka outplaying him. Curry outplaying him. And Curry has a worse team. You you replace, <laughs> you give Steph Curry the current Los Angeles Lakers and see how far he takes them over LeBron James. Give him Anthony Davis and see what he does. So I'm saying, dude, we got to stop it. LeBron James is great. He's a top 10 player, but he's not top five. And that's okay. Because to still be top 10 in year 21 is a hell of an accomplishment. But these guys cannot remove the, the phallus from their mouth and wipe their lips to the point that the game can't move forward. And then when you got all these other guys like Kevin Garnett get into media, they feel like they got to kiss up to LeBron James to sustain that. Look, dude, Kendra Perkins, Richard Jefferson, Nick Wright, Shannon Sharp, all these guys are prominent in the media. What is the, con <laughs> the common thing that they tend to do? Get on their knees for LeBron James. Plain and simple. Plain and simple, man. The only two people that seem to be critical of LeBron James, well, one is very critical, is Skip Bayless and, and Stephen A. Smith at times. But most of the people that's in the media praise LeBron James to an annoying extent, to the point that i seen something, they said, oh, is LeBron James underrated? How the hell can you be underrated when you get glazed 24-7? But back to Kevin Garnett, man. It's like, dude, you don't always have to chase the bat. I don't know if he's going through financial problems. I don't know if he's, you know, just trying to make it and then tell the truth. Because, you know, some guys, they just want to get their foot in the door, gain an audience. And then, like, okay, like, then I'm going to start telling the truth, right? But it's like, you can see who's really comfortable with what they're doing. A person like Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce already went through that with ESPN. He already said, man, I ain't trying to talk about this man all the time. All y'all want to do is praise him, and he dipped. He probably got himself fired on purpose. 
He had a better opportunity, and now he's doing what he wants to do. He said, somebody get this man a LeBron jersey. Because, dude, <laughs> Paul Pierce knows how Kevin Garnett feels about LeBron James. And he knows there's some new shit that, yo, know, Kevin Garnett is on. So, of course, he's seeing through it. And Kevin Garnett didn't just wake up and say, oh, LeBron James is doing this in year 21. We all know what LeBron James is doing to stay in the league and to stay in that type of condition. Let's stop the bullshit. But, listen. It's okay, man. Kevin Garnett. It's okay. Be yourself, man. And all these guys that's quick to hop on it, we trying to push the game forward. We not trying to keep moving back because once LeBron James is gone, he's gone. And a lot of his super fans, a lot of his super fans, right? They're going to leave with him because they don't even, they don't even like the NBA. They don't even like basketball. They just like LeBron. And that's a good thing. Bye. But it's like, People like Kevin Garnett, we got to start weeding out these false, false representations of what basketball is supposed to be, the basketball discourse, all this other stuff, because you feel me? There's some agents, some clutch sports agents in the media. There is. And Kevin Garnett seems to be one of them. So if y'all start to see Kevin Garnett get way more prominent in the media, Talking about LeBron, talking about all this other stuff. Just know, you saw it here first. That, <laughs> you feel me? He sold, he sold his soul. Peace.